You ready, Wayne? Bet. Salute, Wayne. Goodbye. What is good, Grey Gang? We are out here manor trapping. It is time for manor trapping, okay? But we're just not just manor trapping for no reason, okay? We're not exactly looking for endangered species. We are out here trapping for bait. In the meantime, while Ethan's down there trying to snag some blackberries, I'm gonna be loading up this manor trap. Now we're getting some bait because we are going cane poling in the river for big catfish to stock our pond. Here's the trap I got. And we are also down here at our first location. This is actually the same pond we came on the food chain challenge where we got a lot of the bait that we actually use. Now, to load up this manor trap, pretty basic. I'm just gonna put some bread in there, preferably old bread. They like old bread better than good bread, scientifically proven. Ohio State University of Loyola State Technical Institute. We got four pieces of bread in there and we're gonna actually be setting these overnight. So there's a good chance we can get a lot of minters out of this one place. And obviously that is the plan. So first things first, a good toss is always key. Make sure I got a lot of rope. There we go. Now I'll literally just let it sink to the bottom and then come back tomorrow Hopefully we have about 100 minters and we won't have to rely on the other traps. But in case that doesn't happen, I have two more traps right here and we're actually going to go set them in the creek. So let's load up, let's get her pop, let's get cracking. I no joke think you're going to catch at least 30 right here. Well that's the plan. Hey guess what? Why'd the chicken, uh, 7, 8, cause 7, 8, 9. All right, I don't know what he's doing, but uh, he's on top of up there now. Nice. Now he's backing down. I just want to let y'all know that this dude's going to be the death of me one day. You can, you can stop recording. Oh, I was just telling him how that you're going to be the death of me one day. Yeah. All right. We'll see y'all. What you think about this spot? Trees. Indeed. What do you think we're going to do? Do you think we're going to catch a bunch of minters? I think that the pond will be better than this part. Here's the thing though. We really only need about 25 minters and that's max. Actually, yeah, that is max. We only need 25 minters. And honestly, setting them overnight, three traps, this much bread, I think we can do a lot better than 25 minters. But what we don't use, we'll put into overstock and sell them on Amazon. Quarter a piece. That's right. We can autograph them for $4 a piece. We know what we got. It's a for sale, not on sale. I know what we got. Don't lowball us. I don't know what that big bug was that was flying around, but he was wild looking. All I know is that last time I was in this position, my fishing pole was in two pieces over there, and I was down there. Yeah, literally down there. didn't even make video. Now, ooh, that could have been bad. Anyways, now like I was saying, plan B, or maybe part two. I don't know what's going on. I can't make complete thoughts today. Let's go to the river, because we got to make cane poles, or we got to cut them. Is you good? My name is Jeff. All right, mate. We're down by the riverbank and we're looking for the elusive dead cane pole. You can see here. It's a good example. Wait, that's not a cane pole. Hmm. You can see here we have a dead cane pole, but unfortunately it's been in a couple fights and it's dead. It's a little bit short. We need one about eight to 12 foot long. You can see them back out in the back, eh? Hey, mate. I'm gonna pull out my hatchet and now I'll go claim my bounty. Good luck finding it. Hey, hey, cranky. Oh. Yeah, not too bad for one throw, eh, hey, mate? Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Oopsie doopsie. Yeah, we need about 18 more. I guess you better get throwing. Yeah, I bust it better put him. Mmm, <laughs> bussin' bussin'. Catch y'all on the flip side. Now that we're back from the river, we got about 12 cane poles. Now that's not as many as I was saying. And the reason is because not all the lines we set are actually going to be from cane poles. These are the cane poles. So the way that we're going to be setting these cane poles is getting the tip of the cane pole, tying it up with some of this 80 pound braid. You can use bank line if you want to. They both work pretty good. Then we're going to be getting a plain hook, just a pretty big one for good for catfish, tie on the end of it. Then we'll take this thing down to the river, sharpen the tip, jab it into the mud bank, let the hook and the minter dangle 
angle into the water, I don't know, about two, three feet, something like that, deep enough to where it's definitely in the water, but not so deep that it can get hung up. Then after that, we literally just leave and then come back the next morning, and there's a really good chance we should have some catfish. They're just now coming off nest, so now is literally the perfect time. But like I was saying, we're gonna set probably about 20 lines. Man, we only got 12 cane poles. That's because the rest of them are gonna be limb lines. What we do is we find opportunities. If there is a random limb hanging off the side of the river, we'll just pull down that limb, tie a string to it, and boom. There we go. Or if we find an old stump, we'll do the same thing. Just stuff like that. And uh, honestly, guys, we should catch like a lot of catfish. It's the perfect time. But right now, we're going to go ahead and build them. Now, you may also be asking, KG, why did you pick dead cane bowls? Shouldn't you get strong green ones? And the answer is no, because the green ones aren't strong. They are strong, but they're kind of brittle. You want them to be dried out. So whether that means go ahead and get some that's already dried out or go ahead and cut some green ones and let them dry out for like a week. Doesn't really matter, but we're going tomorrow, so this is our only option. Just be sure you don't get some so dried out that they're rotted. That's not good. Also, how long do you want them? Eh, I don't know if it matters. The longer they are, the more options you'll have for setting them. But the longer they are, the more stuff you have to take to the river. That's a bad idea, my man. Cut yourself? Oh, yeah. Let's see it. I'm dead. I'm literally dying right as we speak. Now, what'd your mom tell you about them KG pocket knives? They're I better sharp. get the, They are sharp right out of the box. This one's done. It barely even touched me. Well, I better go ahead and finish this paw. I ain't got much longer to live, son. Anyways, pull off this braid. I'll tie it right here to the end, just like this. Nothing too special. Just tie a good knot. I'm going to tie an improved clinch knot because it's pretty simple. What's that? It's, uh, you're just going to, it's this. It's just this knot right here. You're, let's go look it up. I ain't explaining. I ain't got time for that. I'm bleeding out as it is, dude. And what about the monkey knot from SpongeBob? You can do that one. It works really good. This is hard to do with nine fingers. That knot is absolutely pitiful, but at the end of the day, it'll work. And even though these cane poles are a little bit flimsy, that actually helps them because the more it bends, the less ability they actually have to break it. I am actually dying. But this cane pole ain't finished. That blood will add extra flavor for catfish. Winners don't quit. Losers quit when they are tired. Winners quit when the job is done. Yeah. I'm bleeding though. I may have to go to the emergency room. Anyways, that's good. I'm going to put about as much line as the pole is. That way it's easier to take care of. And there we go, boys. It's pretty much done. If I can do it with nine fingers, you should be able to do it with ten. Unless you only have one hand. And then you're... I don't know. You can still probably... Do, you can still do it with one get hand. Get a buddy. Yeah. Huh? I said just get a buddy. Yeah. And there we go, boys. We're pretty much done with that one. Now we just gotta go catch minners. I'm gonna head to the emergency room. Ethan can... I'm not going to the emergency room. I do need a piece of... You got some paper towels on the Defender. That'll be a good idea. I'm telling you, by golly, they're sharp. The cut wasn't but that big, but so sharp. Oh, there goes Steve. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Me and Ethan are just going to go ahead and finish these. This is the boat we're going to be taking. We'll go ahead and get it down. Bathtub 2.0. Actually 1.0. We'll hook up that trolling motor right over there. And we'll be able to fight the river no matter if we want to. If I was having to go in the river and paddle everywhere, I, I, I probably, I'll be honest guys, I probably wouldn't go. I'd sit at the house. I would too. I ain't doing that. Mm -mm. But since I got the trolling motor, it should be really easy to fight against the current. This boat right here is a legend, I'm telling you. I think that's about it, ain't it? Yeah, it is. I think we'll just catch you guys tomorrow whenever we go check the minor traps. Yeah. All right, see ya. All right, mate. We're heading out of here. We got a big old copperhead. Check that out. Check. Oh, oh, big copperhead. That's something we honestly don't see every day. And here, let me tell you a secret. If you're from Kentucky and mountain type places, you don't see copperheads often. That doesn't mean that you're not within three feet of them, okay? You probably walk over so many copperheads that you just didn't see, and because of that, you just assume they weren't there. That's not true. That's crazy though. I'll be honest, I never ever see copperheads. You don't. They can be right in front of you like in leaves and you not see it. No, but like on roads like this, I didn't want to kill him because like he's not bothering me and he's probably just gonna go eat a rat. So that's fine with me. I don't have a problem with him. I'm gonna be cautious though going back on this side. Copperheads are like a slower snake. They're not like a black snake. Black snakes are quick. Copperheads are more fat and they're kind of slow, so you know what? We're gonna do a snake hunting video later, so you just have to stay tuned about that. That'll be fun.
-hmm. It is the next day, guys, and it is time to go check the minor trap. Now, we already have the boat locked and loaded right there. As you can see, let's do a really quick four-second Mexican music montage. Dabtastic, yes. What are we doing? Let's roll the montage. Perfect, perfect. Glad you enjoyed that. But yeah, since we do have the whole boat rigged up, we're not going to take that to go check the minor traps. We're taking Kawasaki Honda Mule, baby. 610 horsepower. Absolute unit. Let's go. What's your predictions? I think we'll have like 30. Alright, we'll see. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty close. Honestly, dude, we am, uh, probably don't need to even get the minors out of the other one at all. This is 100% enough. We'll go check the other ones, but we'll just turn them back loose, because this is plenty enough than, than what we're needing. That's a lot. Yeah, plus, there's no reason to use more than you need. We've only got about 20 poles total. So that right there, Look how definitely fat that one is. Yeah, they're all fat. Yeah, that's plenty enough for what we're doing. Perfect. Perfect. That was a good catch up there. That was a good catch. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. My only guess was from, like, the last time. Yeah. He was literally catching them on a bear hook. Cause I was like, well, Brad, they're going to be feeling that. Mm-hmm. All right, let's roll. What are your predictions here? About six. What do you think? I don't know. I think there'll be a... And we don't hardly have many at all. Wow. We have two minners. Got any crawdads? Yeah, about six. Good thing we don't really need this trap. Good thing we wasn't relying on it. We'll dump all those back in. And we'll give them the rest of bread to boot. Perfect. So far, if we hadn't set that first trap, we'd been in pretty bad shape. Mm-hmm. Oh, son, you're about to get the heat. You better get off me. Big fly, son. Another horse fly? Yep. Guess an eight right here. I think we're doing pretty hot right here. Wait, no, they're more crawdads. That's a pretty good batch right there. We got big minors, small minors, big crawdads, little crawdads. That's just an overall good pull right there. But like I was saying, since we got everything we need from that first one, we're dumping these back. All right, boys, we're in the river now. We're gonna put off our first cane pole one time. Now it's cane pole, it's pretty simple, but you get your cane pole, Oh, that ain't gonna work. Well, there's one cane pole. Well, okay. We're off to a good start. We'll catch you in a second, I guess. Whenever I figure out what's going on. All right, yeah, that'll work. Let's see, let me go ahead and get one of, one of these old boys. Travis. We'll go from there. Maybe we can change the fate of our day right here, maybe. Pull us out of Travis. Hook him bullet. But I don't know where you think you're going. I ain't even nowhere to go. We'll hit Travis with one M right there. We'll say, be gone, bro. Come back in a minute. Hopefully, they'll come back with a big catfish strapped onto him. I don't know what'll happen, because I'm pretty sure he just got hung up in a brush pile. So, uh, <laughs> I guess we just say goodbye to him, so. Being a good sport. I don't know, I guess. I guess we're done on him. See, the problem is that all of our cane poles magically got tangled up last night, and it's gonna take us about 30 minutes to try to get each one, so. That's not a good thing. I don't know, we'll go on to the next spot though. The river is honestly pretty high right now. And uh, that's that's not a that's not a good thing. But we're out here anyhow. There's a water heater. Indeed. There you go, buddy. Hopefully he'll catch something. And if not, then we're just gonna be in bad shape. Ethan, you gotta scoot your seat over. We're about to flip. Which way? This way. We're like this. Yes. I'm gonna do the same thing. He's already hung up. That's what I told you now. Already hung up. Ain't gonna be able to do anything about it. By golly, son, you're gonna have to calm down. No one said they were smart. He's already hung up again. We ain't gonna be able to do anything like this. Yes. We're in bad shape, dude. This ain't looking too good for us. We still got a bunch of left. You gotta stay positive. Old son ain't allowed to go anything further than about two inches now. This is tough. <laughs> It is. I mean, we're floating a bathtub down the river, though. We're attempting to. This may not end well. Why you figure out? Well, I think we're about to find out. There's a rear end to a truck. No, that's a whole frame to a truck. Should be a good sign, right? Yeah. I mean, if that tells you anything. That's what we like to see at the river. What you thinking? I don't know. It all looks real muddy. I don't know if that means anything. Or... Well, I don't know if it does or not, but I know that if it's what in mud, It'd be impossible to stick a cane pole in it, so I guess that's one good thing about it. This looks like a good spot, though, if anything. Something like that, hopefully. 
If it don't get hung up in that bush, which it will within the 50, first 15 seconds. You know, I get a lot of comments saying, Kimbo, why don't you, why don't you fish more? It's hard. I don't know if I like this. I can't decide if I, I think this is fun or not. It sure ain't fun right now. No. This is just straight work, side. Since you ain't having fun, let me tell you a joke. What? Fishing. That's the joke. I don't know about all this now. Dude, it's too hot. We ain't slept good. It's hot. I'm hungry. This is a lot of physical work. Can't get everything untangled. It just... My minners keep falling in the water. Right. I mean, there's a fish right there jumping. But I mean, it, it probably ain't gonna come over here. Mm -mm. That's just the way they are. Can't keep the boat in the current. We always hitting rocks. We've already seen a gar. About that big. We ain't even moving. Where's this full speed? We ain't even moving. I don't know about this now. Buddy, that one's about to snap right there, and I ain't even touching it. I will say this boat seat's like a recliner back here. Hopefully you don't cut him up in the motor right now. Hi, Travis. We'll catch you guys back at the boat ramp. All right, boys, we're out. Let's see, what time we get in there? About 8.30, and it's now about 10.30? How did that take two hours? No idea. We only set like 20 lines. We had to fight the current the whole time. Yeah, that was true. We had to fight the current, fight the limbs, fight our, ourselves. But you know what? We made it. What we're going to do, though, is since it is 1030 now, we'll wait until about 7 tonight. Then we'll come back and collect our bounty. Because, boys, we put in the work today. We better get something out of it. If not, I'm just going to have to go to IGA and buy me some catfish. I'm going to the house, son. I want Taco Bell. All right, boys, so we are back. It is around, I don't know, but we might have one. I'm not exactly sure. It was twitching a little bit, but it might actually just be the mirror. Let's see. This is just one of the makeshift ones. One of our poles broke, so we just had to use this. Yeah, it's nothing but the mirror. We're not actually going to come back tonight, so, or anymore since it's supposed to flood. That wouldn't be a good thing. But what we are going to do is be pretty responsible, obviously. Let that thing go. Cut her hooks, cut her lines, and we'll just go on from there. Cut her lines. That way nothing can get cut on the hook. And obviously, even better, we can keep the hook till next time. Because, you know, if you come out here and set a pack of hooks every day, it's going to get kind of expensive. So I'll put the hooks right there. We'll move on to the next one. Alrighty, boys, look here. We done got the first one. Forget limb shaker. We got stinking log shaker. Look what we got that thing tied to. <laughs> Now, he ain't nothing massive or anything, but he is a really solid, absolutely perfect size eating. But like I was saying, maybe I didn't say it, but we ain't actually eating these. We're going to release these into my pond. That way we can do cool challenges with them. And I can kind of have them like a storage, like a pond. Not many people think about this like, at all, but like whenever you have a pond and you manage it, you're literally managing a food supply that you can access pretty much any time, as long as the fish are biting at least. We got this thing. I bought it at a pond shop. We're going to just hook the catfish to them and let them sit over the side. Oh, that's perfect size. Oh, calm down, bud. That's a channel catfish. You can see he's not as fat as the ones that are usually in my pond. And then we'll just hang him over the boat. And uh, we'll get him after we're done. Hopefully we can add him a whole bunch of friends. What do you think? We got, you think we got one on this one? I th Buddy, I think we do. I'm going to say yeah. I think we do. Look how taut the line is. We definitely got one on here, too. I don't see the line yet. Now. Yep, oh, right yeah. there he is. Nope, little bluegill. Never mind. You can kind of see him. He's just, oh, he hung himself up. How predictable. It's one thing you got to watch out for these bluegill. If you put them too close to a brush pile, they're just going to get themselves hung up all the time. And... Bluegill's not the smartest creature in the water. No. All right, we got number two, but it's not exactly what we's looking for. It is actually a spotted bass. Um, spotted bass, and we don't really need any of those in my pond, so we're actually just going to let it loose. Look at that. We almost got our minner back. There's the minner. Yeah, he's right there. It's floating. We still got a couple more down here and then a bunch on that side. So we still have a chance. If we just get one catfish, that's okay. But like, obviously we did put a lot of work in here, not gonna lie. It'd be nice to get a few more than just one. At yep. least we got that one though. <laughs> we didn't catch any more, but we do have that one and his name is Wayne. Now, Wayne's not necessarily the biggest catfish, but that's okay, cause I mean, I don't know. I mean, it'd be nice if it was bigger. It'd also be nice if we caught a cousin, but it just didn't work out like that. The good thing is that Wayne's going to be perfect for the pond, pretty much. We're going to take him home. Y'all are going to see that, though, so let's just go on home. Let's put him in there with the new fish. All right, guys, so uh, some of you guys may have been wondering, how are we going to transport Wayne? Well, we kind of just threw him in the bottom of the boat. He just came along. Catfish are like extremely hardy, so believe that or not, that ain't gonna hurt him at all. Being out of water for an hour, probably not gonna hurt him at all. Catfish are just special like that, so. Wayne, took him out of the river, tossed him in the bottom of the boat, 
10 minutes later, dude's perfectly fine. And he's already about to try to run away. And just in case you guys don't believe it, we're gonna release Wayne right here, right now. You ready, Wayne? Bet. Salute Wayne, goodbye. F in the chat for Wayne, even though he didn't die. There he goes, he's gone. If he's dead, he'd float to the top. Absolutely not, dude's gone. Wayne's gonna love it in there. Oh, absolutely. He'll be a lot fatter than he was in the river. Anyways, guys, if you wanna watch one of my catfish and catcher coach, click right over here or right over here for all my catfishing playlists, if that's something you like. <sighs>